This video is going to be a bit weird. It's a social experiment. It's not what we planned to do, but I want to try something, so stick with it. It's odd. I feel like we need some new pillows. That's, that's the change you want to make? <laughs> <laughs> that's the 2019 vision. New pillows. Can we, yeah, let's try those. Look, there, one there. That better? Maybe try those vertically? No, we've got, we have a lot of important things that we want to talk about this year. I just want to start the year with the right pillows. In all seriousness, no, we're, we're not going with these pillows, right? What did you... <laughs> <laughs> that better? Is that too sparse? It's like, like butter over too much toast. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like, yeah. Is it? Daniel Musto, our designer friend, always said his, he likes, he actually likes sort of clashing patterns, you know? So different. Everyone else doesn't do it. I like the first of all, I like those vertical, yeah. Yeah. And then I like that Horizontal. clashing pattern more subtle, like that's the back pillow. This is in the back. Yeah. So it's just you're just getting a hint of that. Oh just yeah, you can barely yeah. it's just poking over the top. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't. It's just a bit of butter on a bit of toast. Yeah. Third watching of the video. <laughs> you just get you'll see that. Yeah. It's like memento. Exactly. It's there exactly. are things you won't even catch. It's layered. This yeah. video is layered, and that's true of all of our videos. It's Nolanized. Just like really experimenting now. This cannot look good. I've just experimented. You're having to overcompensate with the camera, and it's running the risk of creating noise in the picture. Noise on the last cameras started to show up about 2000 ISO. Noise on this camera starts to show up at about 25,000 ISO. Right, obviously. So I'm just, I'm just saying, you haven't a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's just get a bit of footage of Jameson running around trying to fix the setup. I think we should leave all of this in just to give people a sense of the considerations that we have to think about before we even get started in saying something useful. That, you know what, that is, that's a sort of meta lesson as people get into the year. You think you're gonna get straight into all the useful stuff and then you spend the first two weeks of the year just clearing shit out and trying to like get in the game. It's like two weeks before you even get in the game. It's a, there is an interesting metaphor here for people's year that I think is very empowering. We've got shit lighting it's they raining know. outside. Nobody knows that it's shit lighting. It looks fantastic. Well, you just said it's shit lighting, all right? I'm telling everyone. It's <laughs> raining outside. Miserable today, isn't it? This is an interesting... I'm telling you, this is a metaphor that's useful. People get... This is different. Who's do, no one else is doing this. This is something... They come to Matthew Hussey's channel, get something a bit different. I like it. I like it. Let's just cut that there. I'm telling you, Jay, people, I, this, is my, this is my battle right now. I've got to convince him, but I'm telling you, this is just, see what happens. This is a metaphor for the way progress is made and the way people's year is actually going to go. We all have the best intentions of, of these grand things that we want to do. And these, you know, we're always thinking about the very clean output of what we want. Like today, we're thinking about, we need a new blog video to kick off the year. And life doesn't offer you things in those neat packages. It, you know, comes with all of these tasks and things you have to do just to get to the thing. And I think that's why people feel like everything is always slower than it should be. Because if someone wanted to like, if someone wanted to make a video, right? If someone decided I'm gonna make YouTube videos now, they don't get to just go, Okay, I've, I'm making a YouTube video. There's, now where do I shoot? Am I gonna use my iPhone or am I gonna use a different camera? Do I need to hire someone for that or am I gonna do it myself? How do I get the best lighting? What am I even gonna say? Oh my God, I've got to set up a YouTube channel. Haven't even done that. What should I call my YouTube channel? There's all these things that aren't even the thing itself that you have to do just to be able to do it. And that's true if you're starting a new business this year. That's true if you're changing jobs. It's true if you're trying to do something different in your job. It's True if you want to start working out. It's just true of everything. There's, there's a lot of stuff around the thing itself. And I think that just, it, 
we see everyone else's version of a new year and it appears to be they're already in the gym. They're already doing that thing that they want to do. They, we see people's Instagrams and it's just all clean, 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 packaged output with a bow on it. And everyone else's life just looks very clean and simple and progress is so messy. We're in the third week of January. I bet you most people watching this video have had a false start. You wanted to start clean and fresh and, you know, just all guns blazing on January the 1st, and it just didn't work out that way. And it's frustrated you. Maybe you've already started the self-loathing and the self-guilt and blame of, oh, here we go again. January's nearly over and I already haven't changed anything. I already haven't done anything. And by the way, I, you know, I had the best intentions of starting fresh with, you know, my eating and getting to the gym starting January 1st. And guess what? Didn't really happen because for the first two weeks of January, I was still in vacation mode, half in work mode, trying to get back in, but I was still traveling and it was, it was tricky and it was, I didn't find my rhythm. I didn't find my routine. In one hour, I'm going to what I consider to be my first real gym session back after breaking in December. That's later than I thought I'd start, but I don't mind as long as I start. I think we need to get into the view that every day is January 1st. Every day is the first day of the rest of our year. So forget when the calendar's January 1st is. When is your January the 1st? It's today. Every day you wake up is the first day of the rest of your year. And if you can see, okay, so you had a false start. You The first three weeks of the year didn't go to plan. You didn't quite find your rhythm. You're still figuring it all out. That's the mess, right? That's all the mess we've just been through to get to the video. Fine. But what you need to get good at is just that's an infected limb of your year right? Don't carry it with you for the rest of the year. Amputate that limb and move on with a fresh start. You have to give yourself permission to do that. And that means not comparing yourself to how good of a start everyone else had to their year, getting off of fucking Instagram and everything else that is just infecting your mind with how much progress everyone else is making that you're not. And instead, just getting into your own rhythm, your own race, your own journey and saying, right, what do I want to start doing today? Forget the, the kind of childish mindset of, but it had to have begun January the 1st. Forget that meaningless attachment to the calendar year and get obsessed with the first day of the rest of your year, which every day, by the way, is today. If you want to do something that is going to have a radical impact on your year, apply for my retreat. It is coming up in May. That's five and a half days of me working with you to create the life you want, to help you manage your emotions so that you can be happier every day on a practical level, to help you decide what you want next in your life if you're at crossroads and you're confused, to show you how to stick to your promises to yourself, and to show you a process that's going to make you the most confident version of you you've ever been. And by the way, that isn't a process that I give you to do when you get home. It's a process I take you through on the retreat that transforms your confidence by the time you leave. You can apply for that at matthewhussyretreat.com. And by the way, if you can't come to the live event, you can also do the home study version. That's also available at matthewhussyretreat.com. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2019. Let's enjoy this beautiful mess that we call life together.